Prophecy is often called the greatest proof of God. Future events are foretold and recorded hundreds, even thousands of years before. Imagine predicting when and where the Messiah would be born, predicting his life, even the very words he would say. Think about the impossibility of predicting he would be betrayed, for how much and even how he would die. Then at one point in history, a man arrives and starts to fulfill each prophecy. Surely this would be no ordinary man. The life of Jesus isn't just the greatest story ever told, but the greatest story ever foretold. It was prophesied in the Old Testament that the Messiah would be betrayed. Let's take a closer look. Our first readings are from Psalm 41 and Zechariah chapter 11. Psalm 41 verses 9 Even my close friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. And Zechariah chapter 11 verses 12 to 13 Then I said to them, If it seems good to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. And they weighed out as my wages thirty pieces of silver. Then the Lord said to me, Throw it to the potter, the lordly price at which I was priced by them. So I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord to the potter. And now let's hear from the New Testament, where Jesus fulfilled this prophecy. Hey, let's read from Matthew 26 verses 14 to 16. Then one of the twelve, Judas, went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over? And they gave him thirty pieces of silver, and then he looked for any opportunity where he could hand him over. Now let's continue to read from Matthew 27 verses 9 to 10. Then what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. They took the thirty pieces of silver, the price which was set on him by the people of Israel. And that's just a part of the greatest story ever foretold.